Hello everyone, my name is Web Weaver, and welcome back to Pseudo Regalia. So I just, I was about to go record World of Horror because I really, really, really needed to. Um, but I saw something. I, unfortunately, I was stupid as fuck. I decided to uh, look at this game's uh, trailer and also the Steam forms. And I found out something that I never thought you could do, but I never tried to do, so I'm, I'm just a fucking idiot. Um, check this out. You can backflip in midair. Now, how you... I, you can only do it once, but like, you know, you're, you're wall running, you do a little backflip in midair. I mean, what do you want me to say? That's fucking awesome. Uh, and so it just made me want to play the game again. And so we're back. We are. It's true. Um, that's fucking crazy. Like, that's so cool. Like, I, if I remember to do that, the movement tech in this game is fucking insane. Um, yeah, no, I, I, I was like, I, I was going to stop playing the game because I really need to go record World of Horror. And then it's just like, okay, but what if the most fucking batshit crazy thing you've ever thought of um, is real, and I've also, I saw the thread, now I'm nowhere near, you know, good enough at the game to start doing challenge runs or like speed runs or whatever, but I saw the thread on Steam where it's like you can beat the game without Solar Wind, which I'm pretty sure Solar Wind is the dash, right? What is it called? Soul Cutter, Soul Break. Solar wind. Yeah, jump while sliding. Like, you can beat the game without this. That's so fucking crazy, dude. I just... I, I don't know what to say. That's that's insane. That's insane to me. I also learned that if you lose your weapon... Now, I, I don't remember... Yeah, you can... If you lose your weapon and you go next to a crystal, you can just, like, summon your weapon back, which is pretty cool. Um, now how, how on earth do you want me to do this? Look at that, we can get extra height! <laughs> now, you know, I could immediately fail to put the concept... Okay, so you flip to where your back is, so I want to try something. Okay, yeah, we're, we're cooking. That's awesome. That's incredible. We've already been up there, we already know what's through there. If possible, I want to get back to that room with all the orbs in it so that we can actually, like, go. Now, why did I... Listen, don't ask me how or why I, I decided to do that. I just did. We can get back up there. It's definitely... It's definitely possible. We literally did it in the last episode. It's not too theoretically hard. Easy. Okay. Easy. Absolutely easy. Easy peasy lemon freaking squeezy, dude. Um, we're ballin'. Although, I am absolutely lost. If we could get back to the big main room, then I think I'll know where I am. Or at least where to go there, through that purple door. Through the purple guy? What the hell? Hold on, just do it like that. Never mind, do it, do it, just, just do it like this. There's no reason to get fancy, there's no reason to... I, you know what? I just remembered that I could do that, and it's so fucking cool. All right, we're back to the main room. I, I'm pretty sure I know where I am now. And, you know, I was thinking about it, and I, I still don't entirely know how I feel um, about the whole map thing, because there's, there's map discourse going on. I think a hybrid system would work really well for this game, where it's like you unlock the map for the area, once you have basically cleared it. Like, once you've been through the area, you know. Like, does that make sense? Like, once you've seen every room in the area, or, like, 90% completion of the area, or whatever. Like, just... You have... Huh? Alright, I didn't even know that was there originally. That's crazy. 
But like basically after you've completed an area, you you know where you're where you are. Uh, it wouldn't help for speedruns, it wouldn't help for anything like that, because, well, it would help you plan out speedruns, I guess, but you'd still have to memorize the level. I don't know. I, I think a map would be okay. Is this the main room? Yeah, it is. Okay, I don't want to go out. I want to go up here. And then we should be able to go to the weird side room that we saw before. Oh yeah, but let me let me just say, so let's say you lose your weapon, right? You just toss it over there, you can't do anything. Boo-hoo, boo-hoo. Apparently, if you walk up to a crystal... ...and hold the heal button... Never mind. People said that if you lost your weapon and you couldn't get it back, you could just, like, walk up to the heal crystal and hold it, right? Oh, I was not pressing the right button. Never mind. Okay, they're correct. They're 100% correct. Absolutely. Uh, here. Oh, we're so back, dude. So we can obviously get over there easily, but I actually don't want to do that. I want to get up there. That's way more important to me. So let's let's figure that out. Hmm. I think it would be easier on the other side. Wow, you can just tell that this room specifically was designed for people who are intelligent and not morons. I think... It, it would be easier over here. But also, what's through here? Oh, just the way to get up. Nah, nah, nah. I'm gonna do it my own way. Nah, there's... Nah, I'm not good enough to do that. I'm not good enough to do that. It's true. Uh, let's just... I'm, I'm gonna take the easy way up like a loser. And, uh, I'll, I'll leave it to the, the speedrunners. The real speedrunners, you know? Not the, not the joke speedrunners. We're not on our speedrun arc, I regret to inform you. I mean, I guess we could be. This game's really good. This is a big gate. I, I don't really know what the point for that is. The This is a big gate. Oh, okay. I did that first try. Isn't that neat? Now, how are we going to do this? A little intimidating. Oh, yo! She's just chilling. Also, I realized that I'm wearing the professional outfit because... Uh, my friend wanted to see it. I was showing her the game. So we'll, we'll put on the, the MSQ drip for now. And yes, I do have brain rot, that's why I called it that. I always wear the MSQ outfit for just a little bit, you know. How we go down? If the Taru is gonna go to the, the extra efforts to make me the drip, I'm gonna wear it. Oh, we love being able to move and cast the healing spell at the same time. We do indeed love that. Alright. This is a room. And we're gaming. Oh, you know it. <laughs> the 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 BM yeah 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 yeah. So I think if I had to guess, this is opening the big ass gate out here, right? Oh, ho, 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 ho. we're balling. Hold on, there's a reason these enemies are here. It's so that we can charge up after dying. So there's probably gonna be like a fucking boss fight or something, fighting the king of the fucking castle. 
Although I guess we're trying to save the princess of the castle, but this is also all a dream? I don't know. Don't ask me. Listen, we need MatPat on this ASAP. MatPat at GT would be very interested in this. I emojis. I don't know. We probably just... Listen, we're probably just the princess ourselves, right? And we're trying to escape from the dream. I don't know. Okay. Okay. It's. Uh, I, I thought we were walking into the Ornstein and Smo boss arena, but, you know, maybe sometimes... It's just a key. Maybe sometimes you just get the key. We need one more. We just need one more key, and then we can we can beat the game. Um, which I'm pretty sure is the uh, hell, right? Like if I if I do a little bit of pausing. Uh, we have empty towers, Sansa, Twilight. Yeah, it's hell. We need to go to hell. Uh, which is a very rude thing to say, but let's do it. Holy shit, we could just make that? <laughs> One thing I, I definitely want to check right here is because somebody said, like, so somebody said that you could beat the game without Solar Wind, and somebody asked how the hell you get up the bridge, and I think the answer to that is you use the backflip, don't you? That is so fucking cool. I, I listen. You have no idea how excited I how excited I am doing that. That's so fucking awesome, man. That's genuinely so hype. That is unimaginably cool. So it seems to be the consensus right now is the two mandatory abilities are this one and the um. What is it? The Sun Greaves. Apparently, you don't need the Ascending Light to, to win the game, which to me is crazy because of the room that we're about to go to. I have no idea how you're supposed to... Don't close that. I have no idea how you're supposed to win the room that we're about to go to because it just seems like, you know, that you would obviously want to um, have the thingamabob for it. But, hey, you know, maybe I'm a dumbass. I, I Maybe I don't got the schmoobs. I don't got the right mindset. That midair backflip is so fucking cool, man. You have no idea how awesome that is. That midair backflip is probably one of the hardest things in this game. And I don't mean, like, difficult. I mean, like, that actually just goes hard. Also, we have unfinished business here. I don't know why I'm going the long way when there's a fucking extension bridge back there from the size, the shortcut that we opened earlier. But like, you know. Oh no, however will I, uh, shit. Fair enough. Okay, you can only do it once. So we need to do it pretty, uh, we need to do it big. We do indeed need to do it big. Yeah, there's, uh, you can do that. Or, you know, we could probably... No, no, I'm doing it. I have, I have principles. Because that's lower. That's actually lower than it appears. Oh, that's so close. Oh, let's go. That was cool. You love and you love to see that. Thank God, I just rail grabbed that. It always like, it looks like they're warping when you get near it. So you just think the fucking drawbridge is gonna close in on you and kill you, like just drop you to hell. Also, I was thinking because I, I I was looking at the Steam forums and like stuff that people are like features that people are requesting and stuff, and I just gotta say. A map editor would go undeniably hard. Like, yeah, no, that would be fucking crazy, dude. 
All right, this is a challenge room. This is for real gamers only. Real and true gamers. For an optional upgrade that you don't really need. Hold on, hold on. No, we were so close to doing it first try. We were so close. It, we were so close. I did everything right and they killed me. We love to see it. What do we got? Increased damage dealt. You know, I'm not gonna say no. I think that's a... I, I, I had to try. I had to try. You absolutely know I had to try. Now how do we get back? We just walk? True, 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 true. Um, but yeah, no, I just, I want to get back to that one room, and I don't remember where it is. I'm pretty sure it's not over there. I think our ass made the wrong turn somewhere. Because I'm pretty sure this is a completely unrelated room. Like, this is just not a relevant room. We don't need to be here. I think we can just leave. You know, the Underdark doesn't want you to know this. You can just leave. Also, how do I do the if how do I handle the ending here? Let's say in the next three or so minutes. Small guy. Let's say in the next three or so minutes. Oh my god, we just picked a fight with him for no reason. I feel bad. Um But let's say in the next three or so minutes we get the key, right? We get the key. And we can go through the final area. Like what is the ending? What is the ending? Is it going to be another level or is it just going to be the end credits? If it's a if it's another level, I want to save it for the next episode. If it's another If it's the end credits, then we should just do it now. Um now with that being said, I'm completely fucking lost. I knew this was looping back down to the crystal, but like where the hell are we actually going? Um not this way. Like, wasn't there just a fucking area we could have gone to? It, it's through here, right? Like, I'm not going crazy. This is where a map would come in handy, because, like, we've already seen the rooms. We we should... We, we, Like, this is one of those things where you have to think about, like, convenience versus, uh, like, whatever you're trying to, like, get in, right? So, like... A, a lot of games, like a lot of modern, like let's say a dungeon crawler, right? Where like mapping out the dungeon is important. Uh, you'd be doing that shit on pen and paper back in the day just because that's like, you know, that's just what you would do. Uh, but now a lot of modern dungeon crawlers, uh, some of them that are like really good, they'll give you a choice. So it's like, would you like to do it yourself or would you like the game to do it for you? I'm pretty sure that's Legend of Grimrock, right? Um, and the thing is, it's basically just like... One of those things where, like, player error means that they could essentially make a mistake. Like, human error, player error, could make them make a mistake in bookkeeping that uh, could theoretically screw them over when they had all the information to succeed anyways, if that makes sense. So, I think that um, it's just kind of like what you want, what your tolerance is. I, I was expecting us to probably get like a wall grab or something off of there. My uh, my mistake. But um, yeah, no, I think that. Now where do we go? Oh, it's here, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Ah, that was close. And so I think is it the uh, is it the opposite direction I want to go that I need to hold the button in? I don't know. Uh, let me try it. I want to go to the right, so I'm gonna hold the stick to the left. Yep. Okay, it's opposite. That makes it a lot easier. I'm pretty sure I'm going the right way now, but I have no idea. We're getting 
to where I want to end the episode soon, but we're like allegedly close, you know? This room looks familiar. I, I feel like we'll find uh, what we're looking for. And that other room shouldn't be too bad, right? Like now that we have the ascendant ability, it should be okay. Is this the room? Like there's a side path we can take. I'm dumb, I ran past it. I was like, ah, oh, we're on the other side. Hold on, I need to get my energy back, so just die. Shine, Kakyoin. Yeah, I just, I did just dead ass run past this. I was looking at the knight, not the guys. I was looking at the knight and the guys, not the, not the hole. Have you seen my copy of the greatest movie of all time? Uh oh yeah no this is look at this we're we're just here we're we're just here it's so back also hold on <laughs> okay so obviously there's some stuff that we can do about this room now but like I there's still a couple uh uh haul moments for me oh can we can we shoot them. I, that's too low. That's too much to the right. That is also too much to the right. That's too much to the right. Oh, let's go. That's good enough. And again, the warping makes it feel like it's gonna come out on me and I'm just gonna fucking die, but that's all of them, right? All five? Oh, all five keys acquired. So I don't know what the hell we're supposed to do, man. I don't know what you, I, I don't know, I don't, I don't know what you want from me. And then this is just like a straight shot over there. Like that's pretty easy. What is that gonna do? Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. I, I just, I want to know, okay? I want to... Fair enough. Let me recover. Thank you. Is that just, like, a perfect shot? Wait, did I actually discover something cool? Hold on. I might have discovered something cool. Oh my god, I discovered something cool? Oh my god. Oh, that's so cool. I actually discovered something. That actually feels like a discovery, though. Hold on. I mean, by the time that this video comes out, I, um... It will probably have been too late, like somebody else have already discovered this, but I just, I feel like I actually just deadass discovered something. Is that gonna be a YouTube clip? I feel like that's gonna be a YouTube clip. Because that's fucking tech right there, that's awesome. You can just complete. like, I don't know if it would save time. I don't even know, like, what the speed run of this game is gonna look like, but that's fucking cool, man. Like, that's actually fucking cool. That, that, that's gonna be a YouTube clip, because this episode's gonna come out in, like, 80 days, you know? But that's actually so cool. That's so neat! The fucking, uh, the jump tech. The, the fucking mid-air backflip power attack tech. Oh my god, that's awesome. And then we're just here. We're just here, right? We can just go? Uh, which way is it? Which way is it? Which way is it? I think it's this way, but I could be wrong. Oh, that's so fucking cool, dude. I'm gonna ruminate on that for years! That's probably one of the fun- Okay, hold on, hold on. We're ending the episode here. We're doing the ending on the next episode. The next episode might be like eight minutes. Uh, but yeah, have a good one. Stay safe out there. Bye.